So the Microsoft Authenticator app is an application that essentially allows you to go ahead and enable two-factor authentication. It allows you to go ahead and basically have the security passwords for your particular accounts and whatnot. And, whatnot. and it's a super cool app. I'll give you a quick breakdown on how to use it. It's not anything super crazy. The first time you go ahead and open up this app after you install it, it will essentially require you to log in to your Microsoft account or to a work or school email or something along those lines. And once you go ahead and log in, like you can just click add account and choose the specific account that you want to log in with. Again, there's a couple of different options that you basically have. You can even scan the QR code if you want to. And basically you just want to get access to your company or your works, you know, two-factor authentication, you know, place. Essentially, when you do that, then you'll be good to go. Now, when you have that all set up, you can go ahead and make your way over to these couple panels at the bottom. So one of them say authentication. The new one basically says passwords. The other one says addresses. And the last one basically just says verified IDs. Now, the place that you want to basically go ahead and get situated with is probably with authentication. Now, of course, I don't have an authentication. You know, I don't have anything authenticating me. But you will have something that looks something along the lines of this. So it should show you the codes and everything that are associated with your particular, you know, two-factor authentication. So within the websites, whether it's a work, you know, account or a work GitHub account or whatever it is, these are the codes that you'd essentially type in and they refresh every once in a while. So you can see that there's a time limit on the side. You can even top on them if you want to go and get access to a few more things. But this is what they look like at a very high level. So now what you can do when you're on these particular pages, you can go ahead and just type in those codes on those particular websites. Now this is a little bit of an older style of the, what the new application looks like. At the very top though, so that's what this page looks like. And the same thing kind of goes for passwords. So this will have access to all your other passwords and things associated with your particular account too. But at the very top left right here, you'll see these three lines. What you can do is you can tap into these three lines right there and you'll see close menu. You'll see settings and the settings panel shows you a bunch of other things here too. So here you can go and you know, enable iCloud backup, which should go ahead and enable these iCloud backups on your particular account. You can go ahead and you know, have all this other information here too. Autofill for your certain accounts that you may have. You can import your verified IDs here too. You can export your verified IDs. You can even do face check instructions if you really want to. Hopping back out under, oh, I did not mean to do that. Hopping back out, if we click back here, you have this help panel, which should give you a little bit more help depending on which type of situation you're in. And you can also see that we have send feedback. So if you ever want to send any feedback to the Microsoft team, you can go and access that here too. Now that does cover passwords. Under addresses, this is also some more information. So you can securely store and you know, automatically fill all your passwords and other autofill information on applications and websites you store, which will be synced here. So if you signed in with your Microsoft account, you should be able to autofill that information here too. And under verified IDs, depending on which type of account, again, you have, these are the particular IDs that you will have. So again, you can always scan your QR code to get those verified IDs and they will be synced up there as well. So at a high level, that's kind of it. Within every single page, you can always click on the plus button on the top right to access your particular accounts, even under passwords or addresses. You should be able to go and see those particular informations here too. So again, if you want to get started, add your account, scan your QR code, and from there, you should be able to see this information populate depending on what type of account you have. So that basically covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.